understand why we can't help each other, why we can't put our heads together and help one another, why we can't band together at this time, at this moment. This is going to be Black History Month, right? Y'all all say Martin Luther King had a dream, but guess what? I am the dream. So now I need you guys to stand with me and help me. It's a new year and Tiffany Teflon Tahoe is still Tahoeing. I'm about to start calling her Can't Stop Won't Stop Bad Boy or Bad Girl. The Super City Girl Mayor is still at it. Same old crap, just a different day. She said Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream and she's a dream. Y'all all say Martin Luther King had a dream, but guess what? I am the dream. Yeah, right. Stop it, Tiffany Tahoe. So MLK had a dream to get the original oppressors off the backs of blacks and replace them with you, a black woman. I told you already, this is why you can't take these folks seriously. Every time they do wrong, they run to the reputation and the names of civil rights leaders or they run to the church. So they either become MLK, Malcolm X, Harriet Tubman or Jesus. It never fails. This Black History Month, Tiffany Teflon Tahoe says she's the black dream. So I guess that's why she's hosting a $1 million giveaway while increasing the village's deficit. Well, suburbs are scratching their heads tonight after Dalton Mayor and Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard promised a million dollar giveaway, which turned out to be public funds. Henyard posted a message on her personal Facebook page earlier this week asking people to tune in to a live Facebook broadcast last evening for an announcement that she said could change their lives. A million dollar giveaway in honor of Black History Month. Well, it turns out the million dollars is part of the general assistance fund administered by Thornton Township, which is used for food pantry, senior services, and other social programs. But Henyard did spend much of the 75-minute speech criticizing her media coverage. It's a shame that you do get dragged um, in the media um, for things people just say, hearsay. And I just wish that people would check facts before you judge. Don't judge anybody because at the end of the day, you cannot judge anybody. Yeah, don't judge anybody. We're not supposed to judge them. Whenever they do wrong, we're not supposed to say anything. Never mind, she's destroying the black people in her community that she's supposed to be serving, especially black women. I talked about at least a dozen of them that she's impacted directly negatively. But yeah, we're not supposed to say anything because she's MLK, she's a dream. And yeah, she's going to give away a million dollars of money that does not belong to her in order to get black people to support her. Fox 32 has done a number of stories questioning Henry's use of taxpayer dollars for extravagant spending on trips, hotels, and restaurants, playing games with her salary. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. If you want me to continue to cover the City Girl Mayor, you have to show it. So also take a moment to like this video. I want you to give this a thumbs up to show me that you want me to cover this. So we're back with the woman I named the city girl mayor, Tiffany Teflon Tahoe of Dalton, Illinois, also the supervisor of Thornton Township. No one arrested her yet. She's still being allowed to run around committing crimes. And now in honor of Black History Month, the first black female mayor and the youngest mayor ever is giving away $1 million. Not of her own money, she's using taxpayers' money. New complaints tonight about Dalton's mayor with village trustees raising questions about her security detail. It comes in the wake of a wild shootout Wednesday morning. WGN's Julian Cruz is at the Village Hall with more. Good evening. Henyard's extravagant spending at five-star hotels and first-class travel on expensive out-of-state trips first uncovered by WGN investigates the new scrutiny as the controversial South Suburban mayor announces a $1 million giveaway on Facebook. $1 million giveaway. Do you know anything about that? I'm not sure of anything like that. Dalton resident Andrea Smith and others we talked to puzzled by this Facebook post with a smiling Tiffany Henyard, the mayor of Dalton and Thornton Township supervisor touting a $1 million giveaway. And it's a shame that you do get dragged um, in the media um, for things people just say, hearsay. 
Dalton's mayor since 2021, appearing on Facebook, but not very visible at the Village Hall for much of the afternoon, calls for comment to her office and the village administrator, failing to shed light on the nature of the million dollar giveaway. It's just a sad day that we had to witness this. As village trustees raise concerns about crime in the south suburban community of about 20,000. I will hope that we get more police that's actually on the street. Board trustee Kiana Belcher earlier this week deeply concerned about a dangerous shootout Wednesday morning on Sibley and Minerva sending at least four to the hospital. Belcher and other board members concerned about police manpower. It happens everywhere, but we're just hoping that more police on the street would have been better. Belcher and others pointing to what they say is the mayor's unusually large police security detail said to include four to five squad vehicles or large unmarked SUVs like Secret Service transport vehicles, a witness telling us. Senior trustee Jason House in a written statement preferring to see those police vehicles fighting crime. It is my sincere hope that the mayor will begin prioritizing the safety of our community, House says, by allowing more officers to patrol the streets of our great village. We have to ring the alarm about gun violence in our communities. Community leaders and pastors at the Sibley crime scene arguing that more needs to be done about shootings in the south suburbs. And we demand investments and solutions in Dalton, in the Southland, and across the state of Illinois. A full three days after Wednesday's wild shootout on Sibley Boulevard and no word yet from the mayor or her police chief, no details on the number of people shot or any arrests made despite repeated requests for comment. In Dalton, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Of course, criminals are running wild in the streets. I expect nothing more when they see the leader of the people running around committing crimes and the Cook County DA, she could care less. The AG is also intentionally overlooking the madness as well. So he's also a part of the problem, just like Kim Donkey Fox. Instead of investing in keeping the streets safe for the residents, the super city girl mayor got a third or almost half of the police force in the whole village securing her. You have to remember, this is a small village, so the police force is also going to be small. It's probably less than 20 of them and she's got 10 of them running around with her like she's the president. Then she got the nerve to be promoting a million dollar giveaway on her personal Facebook page using township resources planning to give away taxpayers money. Look at this flyer. Just like all the other official documents and materials of the village and township, her face is plastered all over it, very large. So she's parading around like she's giving away a million dollars and on the flyer, she's got the actual entity that's funding the campaign of hers, illegally, written super small. Her name is like three to four times larger than Thornton. Just like those mayor books I told you about last year, or the billboards she spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on. Billboards that look like campaign ads using the taxpayer's money so people can see her face when they're driving to and from work. Again, for those who don't know, that's illegal for the short bus shawties in the back. But she's been doing this since she got in office. Shout out to Nikita, her former chief of staff, who exposed this last year. Because you know what she said? It's campaigning for her and seniors vote. Also, the snow removal program, you notice they said you had to put a sign in the window? Yeah, she just wanted you to have her name in the window because it's campaigning. And that justify her sending it through the board to have them pay for it because it's campaigning. Because she can't have them do a campaign sign and say do it, so she's going to call it a snow removal program. As you can see, this is an illegal campaign strategy disguised as social programs, all to put her name and face in front of voters. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. The city girl mayor said she's the dream. Do you agree with her? And if she's giving away $1 million of taxpayers' money, how many millions do you think she's secure for herself? You know, with all this extravagant spending on crab legs, crawfish, pork chops, and the misuse of funds. Let me know what you think about all of this below. Special thank you to Rob P. I appreciate you, Rob, for all of your support, as well as Terrace, Felix, and Christina. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.